welcome back in another video lecture of microbiology with Shagdik. So in this video lecture, I am interested to talk with you about M13 factor. Okay, so some so we have talked about PBR 322 and PAC 18 earlier. Now we are interested to talk about M13 factor. Okay, so what M13 is first we need to know. So M13 is simply a filamentous fudge. Okay, so first of all scientists studied the replication procedure of M13 well. So they have found that M13 filamentous fudge is a positive sense single stranded DNA virus. Okay, so positive sense single stranded DNA virus. So suppose as we all know virus will inject their genomic material inside the host so this is the positive single stranded dna virus of m13 but in presence of host enzyme it will convert it into a duplex dna replicative form okay some will also called as duplicate dna rf okay so now it is a double stranded dna so they are converted into duplicate duplex dna replicative form with the help of host enzyme now they will go for bidirectional replication okay bidirectional replication and this bidirectional replication is also known as theta mode of replication and gives us two product one two okay now one of them nix uh, at the positive sense strand okay makes a uh, nix at the positive sense strand and from that dick it will start to do rolling circle replication rolling circle replication will ultimately gives us multiple positive sense strand of the single stranded dna so that is the overall idea of the m13 replication of the m13 virus okay so after well studying about the replication of the m13 virus scientists thought that if we somehow yeah, insert our gene of interest in the, the positive sense strand and then allow the bacteria allow sorry allow the filamentous fudge to proceed so its own replication then after going after going through the procedure we will have multiple copies of single stranded form of our gene of interest okay so that is the actual goal of using M13 filamentous fudge as a vector because M13 filamentous fudge help us to produce single stranded gene of interest and that is important for what? That is important for sequencing such as Sanger method. We have two ways to produce the single stranded DNA for sequencing. One is uh, by simply uh, using alkylation treatment or you can say another denaturation treatment to convert uh, a double stranded DNA to a single stranded one but it is quite risky so instead scientists prefer to use M13 vector uh, to produce multiple copies of the single stranded gene of interest that they want to sequence so that it's guys thank you